Welcome to our how-to guide on making a pair of USB over Ethernet adapters. The adapters will allow you to extend your USB device to run over up to 15 meters of Ethernet cable. Note that the longer the cable, the slower the data transfer will be. Therefore, some USB 2.0 devices will operate at USB 1.1 speeds. It is therefore recommended to only extend load power devices such as mice, keyboards, dongles and charge cables. Here is an example pair of adapters I made earlier. As you can see, I have cut a USB 3.0 cable in half and crimped on the Ethernet plug to each of the exposed ends. I do not recommend using a USB 3.0 cable as they are a thicker cable owing to the additional 5 wires. As you can see here, the tighter fit of the cable has caused the network plug to split. Also, the speed of USB 3.0 will not be achieved as the 9 wires cannot connect to the 8 pins of the Ethernet plug. To construct the adapters, you will need 2 Ethernet plugs, an optional 2 Ethernet plug sleeves, a network cable of desired length up to 15 meters, two network coupling blocks, a crimping tool, a wire stripper, and finally a USB 2.0 cable with suitable connectors. Here I'm using a USB type A male to female cable, but you can also use USB type B, type B micro, and type B mini. As well as extending the length of the USB over Ethernet, these adapters can also be used to quick swap the ends of your cable to match the device you wish to connect. This is very handy if your computer USB ports are hard to access. To begin with, take the USB cable and cut off each of the ends, leaving between a half to a foot of free cable. Then, slide on the optional network plug sleeve over the free end. With the wire strippers, strip back about an inch of the outer sheathing. Unwrap the internal shielding and cut off the excess. Locate and cut off the drain wire, leaving four wires. The red and black wires are the voltage and ground wires. The green and the white wires are the positive and negative data wires. Ethernet cables are designed such that the internal wires travel down the cable in pairs. This reduces data loss due to external interference. Therefore we should connect the voltage and ground wires, the red and black wires, to one pair, and the positive and negative data wires, the green and white wires, to another pair. In a standard straight through network cable there exists four pairs of wires. Each pair is identified by a solid colour and then that colour paired with white. It doesn't matter which pair of wires you transfer these down, but for this tutorial I shall be using the orange pair on pins number 1 and 2 and the green pair on pins number 3 and 6. To connect the network plug, take the USB lead and arrange the wires into the desired positions and then trim the ends of the wires so that they lay flat. Insert the wires into the network plug making sure that the wires line up to the correct pins. The wires should be fully in and should be visible from the end of the plug. Next, insert the network plug into the crimping tool making sure that it is fully in and then press down with the crimping tool so that all the pins connect with all the wires and the clasp connects to the outer sheath. Then slide up the network plug sleeve and place it over the network plug. Repeat this process with the other end of the USB cable until you have a pair of USB to Ethernet adapters. Each of these adapters can be connected to the network coupling blocks and then to the network cable. This completes the USB over Ethernet extension cable and you can plug the male end into the computer and the female end into the USB device. This has been our DIY tutorial on how to create a pair of USB to Ethernet adapters. 
I hope it has been useful and informative. Goodbye.